Okay, so we're given a window telling us it's an ellipse, really just given half of the ellipse. And then to put that thing in the or at the origin, assume the ellipse is centered at the origin. So what I really want to do with this is draw a picture of an ellipse that of course is whoops centered at the origin. Okay. So that is my goal. Sorry. Um, so let's do that. Right, so we're given half of that ellipse, right? So what I need to do then is draw the whole thing. That might help a little bit. So here's my x, y axis. Here's my ellipse, and then and then the information from its highest point at its highest. The window is 25 inches tall, so that's right here, and that's the point zero comma 25 which means we're down here at 0 and negative 25, if that matters, we can label it. Um, from the center, it's 80 inches wide at the bottom. Uh, so that means the distance from here to here is 80, which makes the point half of that, right? 40 comma 0 and negative 40 comma 0, negative 40 comma 0. Okay, so now we're doing good. So I know what the equation of that ellipse is. This problem is, is, is a little easier than it seems. Once I get this in here, I know the equation of an ellipse is x squared plus y squared divided by some number down here equals 1. Okay, so the number down here is, is this guy, 40 squared, and the, the y height squared down here. So I already got the equation. Now what they want to know is, when I'm 20 inches, so look back to my picture, when I'm 20 inches over, that's 20, what is the height of the window here? So the question is, when x is 20, what's y? So we can do that pretty easily just by plugging in 20 to that x value and then solving. So I got 20 squared over 40 squared equals y squared, sorry, plus y squared over 25 squared equals 1. All I do is solve that equation for y, and I got an answer. All right, so let's see what's the best way to do this. 20 over 40 squared is the same thing as 1 half quantity squared, right? 20 squared over 40 squared is 20 over 40 squared, which is 1 half squared. So I'll write it like that. That might save me a little bit of time. So I'm going to subtract, that's one-fourth, right? One-half squared is one-fourth. Subtract one-fourth from both sides. So that will give me y over 25 squared equals one-fourth. Okay. Uh, notice how I'm writing these both ways. y squared over 25 squared is the same thing as y over 25 squared. Just because I see how I want to solve this, I want to solve by taking roots. I know it's a positive value. So I can take the positive root both sides. I get y over 25 equals, oh, I made a mistake here, right? Subtract a fourth from both sides. I should get three fourths, not one fourth. So I get y over 25 equals the square root of three fourths, so the square root of three over two. And then finally, multiply both sides by 25, and I solve for y. So I plug in the square root of three times 25. Divide that by 2, and you should get, for your final answer, somewhere around uh, 21.65 inches for your answer to that one.